Hello and welcome to Treasury Notes, a financial education program from the West Virginia State Treasurer's Office. I'm your host, Gina Joins. State Treasurer Riley Moore has made it a priority to return unclaimed property to rightful owners quickly and efficiently. To accomplish this goal, several new initiatives are underway in the Treasurer's Unclaimed Property Division. Joining me today to talk more about these changes is Deputy Treasurer of Unclaimed Property, Laura Goins. Laura, thank you so much for being here today. Thank you for having me, Gina. And Laura, there are a lot of exciting things happening right now with Unclaimed Property, but first, for those who may not be familiar with this program, maybe they haven't heard of Unclaimed Property before, can you give us a brief overview of what Unclaimed Property is and really what the role of the Treasurer's Office plays when it comes to um, administering this program and returning unclaimed funds? Thank you, yes. Unclaimed property is property or assets, including tangible items found in safe deposit boxes that have been abandoned or left dormant for a certain period of time. After that time period, the holders, banks and other businesses are required to return that property to the state of West Virginia and the Treasurer's Office Unclaimed Property Division is responsible for holding that property in perpetuity until we can find the owners and return the money or items back to them. Returning money, that's a fun job to have, right? It's a great job. <laughs> well, I know that the State Treasurer's Office has had the Unclaimed Property Division for quite some time, but since taking office, Treasurer Moore has asked the legislature to make some changes so that the Unclaimed Property Code can be updated and so that select types of unclaimed property can be returned faster. One of those changes um, was creating the West Virginia Cash Now program. And there was some uh, legislation that happened that enabled this program to come about. And it means that basically owners are gonna be able to receive a check with uh, very little steps on their part in some cases. Let's talk a little bit about West Virginia Cash Now. Oh, I am, I'm very excited about the West Virginia Cash Now program. What it does is it allows us to match properties with people through public databases, and then we can mail a check directly to that individual. So what happens is we first provide a notification letter, and then um, assuming that that person receives the letter, then we provide them with a check directly into the mail later this fall. So these are for certain types of property. We wanna be clear about that. It's for um, single owner properties and they're, they're items that can be easily matched through the data system that the Unclaimed Property Division uses. Um, so not all properties, but this is this is a new program, and I, I believe letters are, are going in the mail soon, and in the fall is when people may start receiving checks. Is that correct? That's correct. If you're going to receive a check, you will receive a letter first, and that should happen soon. You should look in your mailbox, and then um, once you receive that letter, you don't have to do anything unless there's information about your address that's incorrect, and in that case, you'll need to contact the treasurer's office um, with the claim number that's on the letter that you receive and, and let us know about those changes. And for people who want to know more about West Virginia Cash Now, specifically, we do have um, some outlets they can go to. They can go to uh, wbcashnow.com, or they can go to the Unclaimed Property website or the State Treasurer's Office website as well. So there are ways to verify this information because some people may be skeptical. It sounds a little too good to be true. I'm going to get a check in the mail. That's what you're telling people. Yes, you'll get a check in the mail if you're part of the program. Okay, so there are some steps being taken to make sure that the public knows this is a legitimate program and that um, we're not asking for personal information in this case. That's correct. And we've also contacted the Attorney General's office, so if anyone has um, questions and sure. contacts their consumer protection division, they will also be able to receive information about this program. Okay, so just to, to rehash this a little bit, and we have some information up there on the screen, people will, reserve, will first receive a letter of notification letting them know that they're going to receive a check and they don't need to do anything unless there's some incorrect information on there, then they can contact your office. That's correct. Um, and they should start looking for that, ch that check in the mail come this fall. That's correct. 
Um, now, if someone doesn't receive an unclaimed property check uh, sometime in September or October, could they get one at another time? How often is this program going to happen? This program will only ha happen once a year. Okay. However, if they don't get a check, they should definitely check our website and search their name to see if they happen to have property that perhaps didn't fall within the parameters or um, couldn't be matched. For example, if they're, if it's above the threshold of $5,000 and there's money for you, you still have to file a claim. And that's a good point. So filing a claim may take some extra paperwork if you didn't fall within this category of um, qualifying for West Virginia cash now. You still might have money. So even if you don't receive a check, there's still, there's still a way you could possibly get some unclaimed money. And they can go to wvtreasury.com. I think there's a button on that page. Just do a search, right? And yes. Start searching, see if they have any money. You can, you can go straight to our website and search from the website. Just type in your name and then pick your claim and follow the steps. Um, make sure that you check your email um, because sometimes there will be a a follow-up document request like a driver's license or social security information necessary for us to ensure that we are in fact giving money to the appropriate owner. That's a really great point I want to stress. So if you do start a claim mm -hmm. through the website, you want to be looking for some type of confirmation email. And if you don't get that, a good, a good step to take is look in your junk folder. That's correct. <laughs> you definitely want to double check and make sure you follow through with the confirmation email and any additional questions. And there are so many types of, of property, such as, um, you know, there are different estates, business owner type property. We're not talking about real estate. Some people think it's real estate, but it's not. Uh, real estate property, but there are other types of property. Can you just talk about why people, why they might have money in this unclaimed property system? Uh, forgotten utility deposits, there's other types too. Sure, there's lots of ways. You could have a gift card that you haven't used that's been returned. You could have a relative pass away and they might have had a safe deposit box that their spouse or other relatives were not aware of. There are often circumstances where you have a paycheck that um, was on cash. One was on cash. I was going to laugh and say, I, 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 I can't imagine forgetting my paycheck, but <laughs> Um, sometimes, sometimes it happens, it happens. Yeah. and or people move before they have the opportunity to receive it or um, so there, there's all kinds of circumstances that may result and in, including life insurance policies. Well, we're talking about the West Virginia Cash Now program, which is a brand new program through the West Virginia State Treasurer's Office Unclaimed Property Division. It's mm -hmm. going to be an annual event that's getting ready to start this fall where people will receive checks in the mail. Mm -hmm. um, but it's for single owner claims and uh, data has to match and there's a process for that. Now, if, you if you're a business owner and you have unclaimed property or maybe it's an estate and it's a more comp there, it is a more complicated process to claim those types of claims, can you talk a little bit about what a person might have to do to um, get that money back? Sure, they would start with filing a claim on our website and then our, our database will provide them with the follow-up of the specific types of documentation that is necessary to verify ownership. For businesses, there might be tax returns for estates, there might be a list of heirs so we can identify that everyone um, gets the appropriate amount of money and that the money is not fraudulently distributed. All right. Again, we're talking about the West Virginia Cash Now program. Um, the West Virginia State Treasurer's Office has a website. You can go check out information about wvcashnow.com. It's right there on the website or go to wvtreasury.com and click on the search button and it will take you to all the information you need to know for unclaimed property. I'm talking here today with Laura Goins, the Deputy Treasurer of Unclaimed Property, and uh, she's, she's telling us about all these exciting new initiatives within this program and we still have a lot more to talk about. But first, before we get to, into some other programs, we're gonna take a quick break. Stay with us, we will be right back. The West Virginia State Treasurer's Vault is holding millions in unclaimed property. From uncashed checks to forgotten utility deposits, we want to return your money to you. Find out if you have unclaimed property. Search your name at wvtreasury.com.
Welcome back to Treasury Notes. I'm your host, Gina Joins. Today I'm here with Laura Goins, the Deputy Treasurer of Unclaimed Property with the West Virginia State Treasurer's Office. Laura, thank you so much for being here today. Thank you for having me. We have some exciting stuff to talk about. Um, we talked a little bit about the new West Virginia Cash Now program, which is um, has come into existence because of legislation that just recently passed, and West Virginia State Riley Moore championed for that legislation. Now some people may be receiving checks in the mail without having to do any extra paperwork a very great thing for um, people to just receive a check in the mail and be able to cash it. Um, but there's also a lot of other things that are happening with the West Virginia State Treasurer's Unclaimed Property Division, and we're going to talk about that right now. Recently, your staff worked to seek out some owners and heirs of some military medals that were sent to the State Treasurer's Office because they were unclaimed property. They were in um, abandoned safe deposit boxes. Talk Talk about this process and how this office, um, how the office found all these medals and how they ended up in the possession of the state treasurer's office. Thank you, Gina. The, uh, what happens is often there are safe deposit boxes and when the owner passes away, their spouse or family members don't know that they had a safe deposit box and then that ends up being um, provided to the state treasurer's office from the banks and this new law is fabulous because prior to the new law we had a process that was very challenging because the the heirs had to go to the banks and repay for um, past rents and the cost of opening the box and different fees and different it. fees associated with that personally um, then they had to have that notarized and then provide a form back to us before we were allowed to distribute the property to the family members and under this new law it really streamlines that process because the treasurer's office is now going to directly reimburse the banks after a claim is completed and the family member only has to submit a claim to the treasurer's office and without paying any fees, and then we're able to return the property directly to the owner or family member. So it's it's a lot easier <laughs> the, and less stressful. Um, and what an honor for, um, in, these, in this case, a lot of military medals um, that we're talking about. And Treasurer Moore was able to host a special event recently to return these medals. Tell us what that event was like. I'm sure it was very special for the families, for yourself, and for the treasurer. It was a wonderful event. Um, we were able to um, identify multiple claimants and then have the service to honor 13 different veterans who served in various wars from World War II to Vietnam. and provide an opportunity to appreciate them and appreciate their family. Um, we had Ambassador um, Johnny Ross and we had uh, Major General Bill Crane and they, they came and they, they, they just took a moment to, to honor the families and it's very important to our Treasurer Riley Moore to, to take the time to, to provide the servicemen and women and their families with the respect they deserve. And so it was just lovely. It was it was so nice to have an opportunity to to give back. And uh, I, I think there were some dog tags, some some uh, purple hearts in yes. these medals. So it was really special for these families. In some cases, um, they did not know that these treasures were hidden away in a safe deposit box. So I'm sure some of the families were surprised. Yes, they, there were many family members that were surprised and they were, there were also family members who were in further parts of the state and even in other states now as, as, as grandchildren of these veterans and they were able to watch via live stream. And so we had, we had a collective group both physically here in West Virginia and, and around the, the country to, to, to witness this event. And we, we just saw some pictures of that event, such a special event. How did it make you feel to be a part of reuniting these families with this military memorabilia, um, which, as I said, in some cases they may not, may not 
they didn't know existed and they didn't know they were just sitting in these safe deposit boxes or had been turned over to the state treasurer's office as unclaimed property. I I just feel very very special and I I really want to thank the treasurer for changing the law to allow this to happen and I would love to thank the wonderful staff at Unclaimed Property and Heather Harrison for really working so hard to, to do the research, to find everyone. <laughs> they, they worked really hard to, 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 to identify the owners and, and work with their family members and help get all the claims processed. And it, it's just, it's a, it's a labor of love. And I get to work with the most wonderful team of people who, who really care about West Virginians and making sure that we can get this property back to them. As I said before, Unclaimed Property, a great program in the state treasurer's office because um, it's so meaningful to be able to reunite people with their lost assets, their lost tangible items. And speaking of that, the military medals are only a small portion of the tangible items that the state treasurer's office receives from abandoned safe deposit boxes at banks. There are other things that your office has um, and receives that go unclaimed and uh, were in these bank deposit boxes and now end up in the office. All kinds of things. Yeah. <laughs> there's, 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 lighters and there are jewelry and there are even really pretty glass. We have different West Virginia glass um, that was uh, found in the safe deposit boxes and there are also wills and and it's it's just you never know what you're going to find. And people can they can file a claim for these items as well. It's the same process the as same the process. monetary assets, correct? Exactly. Just go to our website and identify whether um, you have a claim and then follow the process and be sure to check your email um, in case there's additional information that might be needed. And as I said before, unclaimed property is not real estate, but one of the other things um, that's tangible property that the office receives um, are tangible property from law enforcement. And those are unclaimed items as well. It's a little bit of a different type of unclaimed item, but that adds up quickly. And a lot of times no one can come forward and claim those items. So what happens when those items come to the office? That's a great point. Um, since the treasurer's office is responsible for reuniting property with their owners for perpetuity. Um, obviously, we don't have enough vault space to hold on to tangible items um, from, from now Forever. until perpetuity. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> so in, in that case, after a certain period of time and after we've provided public notice to the apparent owner, um, if, if they don't come forward to file a claim, then what we do is we provide the opportunity to auction these items and people can bid on them and then at, at the highest price. And then once we receive that money, that money is held for the owner of the property in perpetuity until they're able to file a claim. So while we cannot keep the tangible items forever, we do keep the monetary value and, are, and we'll provide that back to a claimant. And talking about auctions for unclaimed property, the State Fair of West Virginia, that's another opportunity for um, the State Treasurer's Office to shine with unclaimed property auctions. And I know I've personally witnessed these over the past few years, and they're a lot of fun to see the tangible unclaimed property go up for auction at the State Fair. Can you tell us a little bit about that event and what it's like? Oh, that event is a lot of fun. It, it is so exciting. There's energy in the air. Um, you can have, there are several different items um, that are available to be bid upon. Jewelry, baseball cards. Jewelry baseball yeah, cards lots of things everything and and then you you can you watch and and the the auctioneer is a lot of fun um, to listen and and then you have the opportunity to 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 bid on these items it's open to the public and anyone who would like to come can and bid on the property and I I encourage everyone to do so because it's just fun to be there. <laughs> and that happens time. annually at the State Fair of West Virginia on the mm -hmm. fairgrounds. Um, they're short auctions. I think this year there's going to be four of them coming up in August, and I'm going to read those dates off so that our viewers have them. You can see them right there. Friday, August 12th, Saturday, August 13th, Friday, August 19th, and Saturday, August 20th. Those are the four unclaimed property auctions. They happen at 5 p.m. in the West Virginia building at the State Treasurer's Office booth, 
which is um, a nice big setup there. And it's a throwback, as you said. It's really fun to watch because mm -hmm. you have an auctioneer um, spouting off all <laughs> their auctioneer language, and they're they're taking these bids, and it's 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 a very fast paced thing. But there's several lots that are available during the state fair, and I'm sure we have some great items coming up this year as well. We have some fabulous items coming up this year, and and the one that I'm most excited about is this gorgeous West Virginia hand blend glass. Um, it, it's it's just beautiful. So uh, so many different things, and there's usually mm -hmm. something for everyone. Um, so again, if you don't make it to the fairgrounds and you're not able to go to these live auctions, there are also online auctions. And that's an opportunity for anyone in West Virginia or even outside of the state to bid on items that have that need to go up for auction out of the Unclaimed Property Program. Yes, that's, that's absolutely right. We have numerous online auctions and those are advertised in the newspapers and on our website. So if you're interested, um, please check our website and, and and participate. And now for the online auctions, I think you do have to pre you do have to register. But for the one at the state fair, it's no no pre registration. You just that's, show up and that's correct. And have fun. <laughs> yes. <laughs> show up and have fun. Okay. I'm here talking with Laura Goins, deputy treasurer of the West Virginia State Treasurer's Office Unclaimed Property Program. We're talking about um, unclaimed property auctions and some of the new items here in the state treasurer's office. One of the new programs we talked about earlier, but I wanted to come back to it is the West Virginia Cash Now program. And that's a brand new program that's happening this fall where um, the Unclaimed Property Division is matching up recipients, single um, owner claims mm -hmm. of unclaimed property up to a certain amount and will be able to return checks automatically. That's a great word to say, automatically. Just automatically, comes, mailed to comes your comes house. right to you. <laughs> um, a lot of people may receive a check in the mail and say, "I." It's not true, can't believe it, right? Uh, so what are you doing to combat anyone who thinks it might be a scam? This is not a scam. <laughs> we are, are, are really matching up your unclaimed property with, with addresses and mailing checks. So what will happen is you'll first receive a notification letter that will tell you you've been matched for the program, the amount of money that you will receive, and then later this fall, beginning in September, you will receive a check in the mail for the amount that we've identified. Um, you'll you'll have a you'll be able to look at the logo. It'll say West Virginia Cash Now. It'll have the treasurer's information on it. And if you have any questions, or if anyone has questions about the program. Um, they, they don't actually have to do anything. Once you receive that letter, it goes straight, the check will go straight to you. But if you do have questions, you can feel free to look on our website, westvirginiacashnow.com, or you can contact our Unclaimed Property Division 800 number. People can call the 1-800 number. They can call the, the state treasurer's office at 558-5000. Again, you can go online to wvtreasury.com. Um, to find out more information about this or go directly to wvcashnow.com, which has information about the program and a message um, mm -hmm. from the treasurer talking about what steps this program entails and uh, how people are going to be notified. So I think it's important if you do have questions to look into that information and contact the office if you if you need any help with it. But talking about contacting the office, um, the West Virginia Cash Now program is just going to be an annual event. There are other ways you can get unclaimed property delivered right to your door, but you do have to go online, search for it, and make a claim. So Laura, we're going to talk a little bit right now about making a claim. And it's an easier process now. It's easier than ever. You can go online. You can do it on your mobile phone. You can just hit the search button at wvtreasury.com and type in your information and see if you have unclaimed property that looks like it's yours. That, that's correct. All you have to do is go out on our website, click search, find my property, and type in your name. And then the um, people who have matching names, the names will pop right up there, and then you just follow the prompts on the screen to claim your property. And then once you file the claim, um, you will have to provide your social security number because we do need to verify the ownership of the property, and that is not a scam. That is required into our secure database. And then 
you will receive an email confirmation. That email confirmation may require additional information from you in order to verify the claim. Um, if so, simply upload the claim information and you can do that documentation right from your mobile phone and submit it online and then um, you'll be able to receive a, a check in the mail once that information is verified. And we're looking at, at some shots of the website right now. And I'm glad you brought that up, Laura, because that's fairly new too. Um, the uh, website was revamped just about a year or two ago. And now it's easier than ever to upload the, that additional information that you may need to upload to verify a claim. So it's important to note that not all claims are gonna be just a check in the mail. Some claims are gonna take a little bit of extra work on the individual's part to verify that that claim is accurate, but that's just to make sure that the money goes to the right person and that you get what is rightfully yours. Um, and it's just usually just a few steps. You mentioned there's a confirmation email. I wanna remind people that if you don't receive your confirmation email right away after you submit a claim, you need to look for it in your junk folder or in your inbox or call the office to see um, where the confirmation email went to because typically that's that's the way it happens, right? That is what happens. And so often it, it will go into your junk mail. So please, please double check and provide that information. The other thing that I would like to encourage people to do is please check the website and um, file file a claim. Um, there are lots of property types that, that don't fall within our cash down program and I would hate for you not to get your money back. And one last thing I want to mention is if you are familiar with the state treasurer's unclaimed property program, maybe you looked for unclaimed property at the state fair a year ago or you looked a couple of years ago on your computer, check back because new claims come in all the time. So talk about that. Yes, every year the holders and banks and other businesses are required to report the unclaimed property that becomes dormant in that year. So in that case, there's there's fresh property each year. Um, I, I know that I found unclaimed property twice in a year. Yeah. It happens all the time because new new properties get reported. And so please check back um, and, and see if there's anything new that you might have. And never say, I, it's not me, I, I would never lose, I would never lose money, I would never be able to have unclaimed property. You just never know. It happens all the time. It happens all the time. So, okay, great. Well, thank you so much, Laura. This has been such a, a, a Good time talking with you and exciting things happening in the West Virginia State Treasurer's Office and the Unclaimed Property Division. Thank you for Thank being you. here. Thank you for having uh, me. Laura Goins with the Unclaimed Property Division of the West Virginia State Treasurer's Office. Thank you all for joining us. That is all the time we have today. And you can always learn more about the State Treasurer's Office and its programs by visiting the WV Treasury website. Stay up to date on the latest news and information from the office. Just follow us on WV Treasury on our social media platforms. We're on Facebook and Twitter. Keeping you informed right now for the Library Television Network, I'm Gina Joins with the West Virginia State Treasurer's Office. Thank you so much for joining us.